Northeast is the Bay of Fires, with granite rocks carpeted in red lichen. The name did not come from there, but from the fires made by the Aborigines to control the forests. Some kilometers south is the St. Columba Falls State Reserve. One of the highlights of the east coast is the Freycinet Peninsula. Here Honeymoon Bay, the Hazards Monoliths, and on the other side Wineglass Bay. The Tasman Peninsula is well known for its rugged eastern coastline. It has some of the most impressive coastal scenery in Australia. The Tasman Arch is what is left of the roof of a large sea cave. The tessellated pavement is an intertidal rock platform. The jointing, exaggerated by processes of erosion, has created the tiled appearance. South Bruni Island is protected as a national park. Most of the coastline consists of Jurassic Dolerite that forms the dramatic cliffs and headlands. Mount Field is the second oldest of Australia's national parks. Enormous fern forests and some of the tallest trees in the world can be found in this area. Stanley is a peaceful fishing village of 450 inhabitants on the west coast, famous for its volcanic plug named the Nut. Going south into Dip River Forest there is a surprise. Dip Falls. The picture of Cradle Mountain emerging from Dove Lake has become the image of Tasmania itself. This has been a glimpse of what Tasmania has to offer. Our dream is to live an entire year there. Only way to explore it as it deserves. Thank you.